Okay, uh, Salim. So, that's 12 foot. It's a 12 foot berm. It does drop. So we spent the last hour, two guys, just digging, trying to get in. We are trying to go as far in as possible. Nothing to there, that's about four foot, six foot in there. Nothing. So then we started knocking on neighbors' doors uh, to see, you know, if they ever turn the water off for the old homeowner or what have you. And they don't know where it's at either, but the woman across the street thinks it's over here. So we found this, obviously, and uh, blue is water. So we dug into here. We dug down that five foot and we found your fire hydrant. So now if the house catches on fire, the fire department can get to it fast. Um, so we uncovered the fire. The, so obviously water is gonna be over here. Um, I don't know. I mean, you'd, you'd need a tractor um, because Uh, yeah, it's iced. It's gonna be somewhere in here. I think It's gonna be somewhere in this area, but that's the highest berm on the entire property um, And it's buried up underneath this tree and Starting tomorrow night. I believe I might be wrong, but it's either tomorrow night or tomorrow morning um, We start with uh, a pretty big snowstorm that's going to be blasting through here again. So, um, yeah, I'm really not sure. Hopefully your guy can come in with a dozer and just kind of doze into all this stuff. And, and uh, once, keep me in the loop with that. I'm going to go back down the hill and go back to my other job now. We'll just keep uh, two guys one hour. So we'll just keep two hours on this job so far. And then... Uh, some good exercise. I'm 46. I don't need any more exercise. But uh, yeah, so we'll keep that. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll talk to you and we'll see if there's a possible way um, that he can bring in a dozer and then we can do the finish work. So let me know when he's done and then, uh, and then we can kind of run from there. So thanks, man.